Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, we are talking about another member of the Legion pl platoon of the Zentopian Church, and and second to last member that we're going to be discussing. And his name is Gutman Kubrick. I have no idea what the fuck he is. Uh, maybe we'll get some information here. Uh, Gutman Kubrick is a member of the Zentopia Legion platoon and for a former prisoner of Zentopia's main prison in which he resided in the Forbidden Cell. Uh, an unknown race is appearance. Gutman has green skin and small aqua colored boxes covering most of his body. He has a big cube like head with two antennas above it and a round pair of eyes without irises. He has a long pillar like neck and a pair of dark worn square hands and feet. He has a short round body with dark red shorts and a green tail. He also sports a coat that is khaki in color. Surrounding his neck and serves as his top. He wears a necklace under his top that is in the shape of the Zentopian church symbol. His overall appearance resembles a cubic giraffe. Yeah, kind of. Personality. Gutman is a very cheerful and arrogant person that is inclined to under underestimate others, treating the other members of the Legion platoon, especially Mary Hughes, like children. He trusts the Zentopia doctrine very well and punishes those he sees as disobeying it. This applies to his comrades, like how he attacked Mary Hughes when she protested killing a priest and destroying a church. He used his rupture magic to instantly scatter her with her very own magic, and we'll get to rupture magic in a little bit. He is also sadistic, as shown as the glee he experiences when using his rupture magic on Gajiel, Red Fox, and Juvia Loxer repeatedly. Okay, now we got photo time. Okay, there's our there's our boy Gutman. He is a male, member of the, the Topian Church. There he is using his rupture magic again. We'll explain that in a bit. There he is. That's actually such a badass image with the bo downed bodies of Juvia and Gajiel. As he's just standing there with a smile on his face of, with a burning church in the back. That's that's kind of cool. Not even going to lie. And there's Gutman confronting Natsu and Coco. And there's Mary Hughes controlling Gutman, allowing Coco and Natsu to escape. I have a thing where it's like, oh, shit, I got rid of the image. Hold on. Are you fuck? Oh, fuck, I hate when that happens. Uh, hold on, let me get back to these pictures here. And we are, because um, I, you know what? Uh, uh, anyway, so Mary, I have a thing where Mary Hughes and Coco are actually kind of crushing on each other. So I can see this as Mary Hughes being like, don't worry, Coco, I'll save you. And you too, I guess. Um, can I see this at least? Oh, I can. So this is like his rupture magic. Um, and we'll get to that right now since I've probably been, you know, just telling you about it. Magic and abilities. Rupture magic. A magic which allows Gutman to swell the magic in a person's body and make it explode. He can use this repeatedly until there is no more magic power remaining within his target. Actually an awesome ability. Tel telepathy. A magic that allows Gutman to communicate with other people through their minds. Enhanced strength. Gutman's squared stumpy limbs are deceptively strong as shown when he's sending when hit from him sending all three members of the Jigglebutt gang crashing against a wall tens of meters away from him with a simple backwards kick. Uh, well, to be fair, he did that to the Jigglebutt gang and not anyone very important. So I don't know how much that means. So basically, uh, this guy is a prisoner and LaPointe tells the Legion platoon that he's going to be their new member replacing Coco. And since he's like, he, since he's a very passionate member of the Centopian church, he goes about this without any questioning at all. Um, but he also kind of causes the members to question what's going on with the church because Mary Hughes doesn't want to destroy churches. And even Byro, who is very dedicated to the church, just thinks like, is this the right thing to do? Like, what's going on? Um, he he does learn eventually. 
that what he's doing is wrong. And this causes him to like, kind of go into a little like um, existential crisis. He is turned good by the end, but here's where things get interesting a little bit. Gutman um, isn't going with the others to collect these celestial key, like no, the keys, the inf the infinity clock pieces. Why the fuck couldn't I say that? He's not going after the infinity clock pieces. He is helping out rebuilding churches with his magic. I don't see how his magic can help doing do that, but as long as he's helping, I don't see really see a problem. Though I think he is later seen with the rest of the uh, Legion platoon when they're on their mission. So maybe this was just a temporary thing for him and he went there. So yeah, a short one, but that was Gutman Kubrick. Um, so the last one, which will be next week, we're going to look at the exceed of the group, a man by the name of Samuel. Well, not a man, an exceed. So if you like this video, please leave a like. Get, give a comment, subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the month and share this video, share it far and wide so people know about the legend of Gutman Kubrick. Um, so until then, stay beautiful because I most certainly am not going to do that for you.